Good day and welcome to EduFest TV. Now I'm going to talk on energy transformation in nature. Yes, energy is transformed in nature. Without energy, work cannot be done. Now, at the end of this class, students will be able to know the energy conservation principle and also going to know how energy is transferred in the ecosystem or in nature. Now, introducing the topic, energy transformation describes the changes in energy that occur between organisms within an ecosystem. And also, photosynthesis marks the beginning of a chain of energy conversion in an ecosystem. Then down to energy conservation principle. Now, this is the first law of thermodynamics, and it states that energy cannot be created or destroyed energy can never be created or destroyed that is the first law of energy conservation then we have various ways that energy can be transferred various medium or various media rather and we have the trophic levels and there are five key trophic levels in an ecosystem from simple plants to the apex predators of a food chain now these are the trophic levels this is a medium for energy transfer in an ecosystem and the first is the primary producers they are called they are the plants they are the producers in every in any ecosystem now the next is the primary consumers that's the herbivores and the secondary consumer the tertiary consumers and the apex predators now this the next image now is the image of a food chain image of food chains rather now the first one here you can see a plant a corn specifically then this corn gives energy transfers energy to the rats and this rat transfers energy to the all so that's just how energy is transformed transferred in an ecosystem the rat eats the corn and the owl eats the rat energy is transferred none is wasted now the next food chain you can see the carrot is at the beginning every plant starts a food chain like i said earlier they are the primary producers now the rabbit eats carrot the fox will eat the rabbit and the lion will eat the fog so that's how energy is transferred and the last one and the grass is plant a plant is also the pro primary producer here like i said the grass upper feeds on the grass the frog feeds on the grasshopper the python here feeds on the frog then the eagle feeds on the python so that's just a summary of how energy is transformed or transferred rather in the ecosystem now another medium another medium of energy transformation is the food web now the previous one i talked about was the food chain is just a straight line energy transfer but this food web is like an interconnection like a web now you can see from the lion or let's start from the mouse yes the mouse the mouse is eaten by the snake the snake is eaten by the kite and also the mouse is eaten by a white cat. The white cat is eaten by a lion. And also down to that same mouse, the mouse is eaten by is eaten by a rabbit. Then next is the white cat. And so on. Then also this mouse gets energy from the green plant. Now the green plant is also another begin another starting point. The goat eats this green plant. Then the jackal eats the goat the lion is the jackal so it's just an interconnection of food chain there are so many food chains that i can get from this so a food web is the connection or the coming together of many food chains so that's that in conclusion one of the major processes in an ecosystem is the energy transformation that takes place as energy obtained initially from the sun they moves through the food chain now the first place of energy the first entrance of energy in the ecosystem 
is from the sun. I said earlier that the plants are the primary producers. They get energy from the sun and produce food through photosynthesis. Then other organisms now feed on them to get energy. And that's how energy is transferred in the ecosystem. Thank you and have a lovely day.